It's back. <laughs> You guys remember we had the damage on both front fenders. This is the new hood. We had the driver's side rear quarter done. Mike knocked it out of the park, it looks like. Got a little dust on there from when I drove down the gravel road on the, on the trailer, but paint looks really slick. Looks like we did a good job on the body work. Here's that rear quarter that he did. You guys remember there was a big old tape line right across here. And uh, we had, let's see, I can't remember. There was some damage somewhere back here. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. I see right here, some paint overspray. So someone has sprayed this corner. I see, you know, it's hard to tell because it's almost dark, but is definitely a hack job, it looks like to me. Um, looks like something I painted. <laughs> you can tell right here, there's a tape line. And they tried to blend right here and didn't do very well. So I'm sure we're gonna end up having to paint this whole quarter panel to make it look good. But anyway, so he, I'm sure he blended right in there and then probably re-cleared that whole quarter all the way up and around to the front there. So now the fun part begins, which is the good old reassembly. So we already did everything in the interior, if you remember. Just needs to be cleaned up, it's all finished. It smells good in there. I pulled the old bumper back in here, the front bumper from the scrap pile and see what all I've got on this thing. There's the wiring harness, the fog lights, and a whole bunch of fasteners that we'll need. And I'm sure there's going to be stuff that we don't have that's broken that I tried to order everything like who knows how long ago, months ago. And I've got boxes in there full of stuff for this, but I don't remember what I've got. So it'll be like Christmas. We'll open up all the boxes and figure out what we have and what we don't have and what we need to order. So... progressing along here and then there's a million little clips and screws and everything else holding all this stuff together and so far I've had everything I need like that was all the smash stuff you know from the old one and this piece that I did not have was not damaged in the old one so I just took it out and it goes right in here so Get that connected in just a second. I went out and cleaned up the uh, lip there, so that'll go on. That has to go on first, I think, and then this kind of 
slides in behind it. But let's we'll keep going here. So far, so good. Finally got that thing in there and man, that was a killer. It was, you have to do a lot of heating and trying to keep stuff warm so that that plastic stays flexible, but not get it hot enough to hurt paint or melt anything. So finally got it. So now I'll uh, get that wiring harness off of the old one, put that on in the same spots. And then we'll start trying to figure out this top part, which is the, big portion portion of the uh the structure of the thing that holds it all in place so that's that that big old section right there and that's where the like the upper grill in is with the challenger script and all that on there so and none of that's on here so that's all going to be just trying to figure out what it would have been like and hopefully i have the fasteners we've got all the main stuff in I found as I was trying to figure out where this wiring harness went that there is a piece right here that is broke off of something that attaches to this and I don't have it. So I'm missing that and there's one on the other side to whatever attaches there. It's probably some sort of duct or something that points the air in the right direction. And so I've got that I got to order and also this piece right here on the old one. It's this rubber trim piece that's riveted on. It's just when you shut the hood, that's the little black rubber piece that's between the bumper and the hood. So I need to order that. So those are the only three things I know. I'm gonna go look on the parts breakdown of this and see if I see anything else. All right, so it's a few days later. Here's the bumper still on the ground here. I haven't really done anything since I last filmed. I think I put the badges on and maybe the little headlight surrounds. I was waiting on parts. I finally got this little spattering of parts in. This stuff that I did not even know existed because they were so smashed in the uh, wreck that you didn't know they were even a thing. <laughs> this big piece even, believe it or not, all that was left of it from the wreck, those little slivers that I had in this box and I never knew what that went to. And as you can see, this rubber area around it is, is that. <laughs> so that whole thing was smashed to oblivion in the wreck. So not even really sure how it goes, but I think it's an air. It directs the air into the radiator. So I'm not, I don't know if there's rivets to hold it on there or what. We'll see when we flip it back over. So let's see what, what goes where here. couple days and I finally did get all the plastic rivets in I needed which are a ton for this bumper so I've got this seal put on up here which is all those plastic rivets so that's all where it needs to be I got these pieces here um, riveted in I'm waiting for one more duct work to come in right there for the driver's side brake and then this thing will be ready to install I've got these right here put in these bolts mount onto the front of that fender so I'm really kind of not able to do much more on this front until I uh, until I get that one duct work in. But I will. I can go ahead and put. Got the car in here now. That front piece I was telling you about that hooks up to here. I'll show you how it goes in a minute. So I can go ahead and get that installed, and then the bumper goes over it. directs all the air into the radiator 
And here's another reason why you don't throw anything away until you're finished. Okay, here's this. This is your uh, outside thermometer. Tells you what the outside temperature is on the dash. And so this is all I had was this piece that was smashed off there. So I was trying to find a place that had a slot and a hole next to it to know where to mount that. And check it out. All right, it's been a few days and I finally got that last piece in, the little duct right there. So this thing is ready to be put on. So let's see how it lines up and hopefully everything is good. Once again, I am missing a piece. <laughs> There's some kind of little piece that goes in here and bolts to this right here. Where this um, bumper goes on, it snaps into there and holds it. And this is part of what was on the old one. So I gotta try to find what these are, the number of them and what are them. So it's gonna be a few more days before I can get this bumper on. Okay, so it's now a couple days later and I have the part in that I was waiting on. So, that's the little thing that goes right there, some way. <laughs> so I'll go snap that in and maybe we can see if we can get the bumper finished installed. All right, so I've got that all connected, everything's Tight, buttoned up, riveted in. That's the way all that goes down there after it's all been riveted in and connected. Fender liner. Check out the size of those Brembos. And there's my hand. Ooh. I mean, it is humongous. Now, uh, put the tire back on. We'll get over and do the same thing to the other side. All right, so I've got all this put together here on the uh, passenger side, front fender. And this is all new in here because most of this was tore up in the wreck. We've got this new belly pan that connects to the uh, ductwork that goes up to that front grill. And there's where it dumps out into the area under here in the fender liner so it gets the brakes cool. So that all connects nice. And here's our this little back piece which was missing that goes up underneath the car. So got everything in here and that looks really good and everything lined up perfectly. So it's always a good sign. All right, so now it is time. This is the only thing left to figure out how to put on the car. And it's been a long time since I took this thing apart. So it's gonna be fun trying to remember where all the stuff is that goes on it and how it all goes together. So, so let's see if we can go find it all and we'll start in. So that's how all that goes together. All the sensors and you know, the backup sensors and the lights and all that stuff are all connected. So when I actually mount it on the car, all I got is one connector that hooks to the car and then the rest of it is just putting on uh, little clips. All right, so I'm out here at the car. Now I've got the bumper all put back together can remember how to get it installed on the car. I don't think it'll be too hard. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here.
Right. So we got a bumper on. That was easy. That was like 10 minutes. <laughs> so now all we got left to do as far as uh, we got to put a few little trim pieces on the inside of the trunk. And then we got to start working on getting all this, these stripes off, which is going to be a pain. So I want to test the lights real quick, make sure they work back here. And then pop these little trim pieces that go right here, both sides. And got to button all this stuff back up in here where we had to reach the back of the lights. Just need to clean everything and we'll start working on stripes. Well, just an update on the stripe removal. I got this little section done right here. Two hours of work and I still have all of that times two. So it's been five days since the last clip was filmed. Dad is still working on getting the decals off the Challenger, so he had me do this outro for you. So thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up down below and make sure you subscribe and then hit the little bell notification so you make sure that you get notified for all our future videos. Um, next week, we're hopefully gonna have something cool and different for you, not Challenger related, but uh, the next video after that should probably be the finale of the Challenger. All right, thanks so much for watching. And always remember, don't retire it if you can rebuild it. Thanks so much guys for tuning in and watching this week's episode of Rebuild It. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content. Have a good one.